Hey guys and girls, what is up? Welcome back to Jumbo Bunny. Today I have something super exciting for you guys. It's actually a science experiment where you can make edible water bottles. That's right, you can eat the whole bottle. And I thought this looked so cool, so I had to do it. This experiment is actually pretty old, but I only saw it the other day, so I really wanted to try it. So as you can see, they look pretty cute. I actually eat them at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around and see my reactions to it. So let's get started. You're gonna need two separate bowls, a measuring container, and some measuring spoons. You're also gonna need sodium alginate, which I had to order online, and apparently it's like a seaweed extract. And you're also gonna need calcium lactate, which is apparently just a kind of salt. Basically, you need to add one cup of water to the small bowl, plus one gram of sodium alginate. Now, I didn't have an exact gram measurement thing, so I just used like a tiny little spoon. I looked at some videos online, and I used about what I think they use. And apparently, you need to use an electric mixer to mix the sodium alginate really well. Again, I didn't have an electric mixer, so I just vigorously mixed it with my spoon, hoping that it would be okay. As you can see, there are a fair few lumps still in the mixture, so I don't know if this is good or not. For the next bowl, I added 4 cups of water and 5 grams of calcium lactate. Again, I saw how much people roughly were using online, and I copied that amount but it wasn't accurate. Then I mix these two together. So then the next step apparently all you need to do is scoop up a bit of the sodium alginate mixture and then gently drop it into the calcium lactate mixture. So I did this and check it out. Do you see it? Yeah, no, neither do I. There's actually nothing there. I put my hand in there thinking that there was like this invisible water bottle ball and there was absolutely nothing. I'm not really sure what I did wrong, so I tried it again. And... Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The bottle just completely dissolved and I don't really know what happened. So, I added more sodium alginate to the mixture thinking that I hadn't added enough. In fact, I was finding the sodium alginate was actually clumping up and wasn't dissolving into the mixture. So, I took the mixture to a microwave. I microwaved it for about 30 seconds and that allowed most of the sodium alginate to dissolve. definitely wasn't in the actual instructions, I kind of just was making it up as I went along. Then I tried this mixture, and check out what happened. Dun 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 So you can kind of make out there's something there, I was so excited, and then uh, I don't know what that is. It just, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a water bottle. It wasn't what I was hoping. It looked like a dead jellyfish. So I tried it again, thinking that maybe I'd put it in wrong. I wasn't sure whether to put it in really quickly or slowly. So this time I tried putting it in real slowly and then slowly sort of trying to lift the spoon up. Yeah, this didn't really work either. I just, again, I had a dead jellyfish on my hands. Then I replaced the large bowl with a smaller bowl, which actually allowed me to spoon in the sodium alginate mixture more easily, because the rim of the large bowl was blocking my way, and I thought this might help. But it didn't. Dead jellyfish. So I decided to try and stick to as close as the instructions as possible. I didn't have a hand blender, but I did have an actual blender. This actually looked way more promising. It felt more gelatinous and there were air bubbles in the mixture, which the instructions said there would be. But then I let the mixture sit for 15 minutes to get rid of the air bubbles. 
I spoon this mixture in, crossing my fingers, hoping that it would work. And oh my gosh, do you see that there? Do you see that circle at the top? I was so excited, I put in another two bottles and then I thought, actually, maybe I'll make it a bit blue because I thought it would just be cool and it would help me see the actual water bottle in the mixture because otherwise it was just white on white. So I put a little bit of blue dye in. Boom, there's your blue water bottle. You can really obviously see it in the mixture. So then it was time for me to grab the water bottles. But I picked up the first water bottle and it was really fragile and the edge actually just broke and all the water fell out. And then the same thing happened with the second one, it was super fragile and all the water fell out again. I felt like I was cursed at this point, I just couldn't get this science experiment working. I tried again with the third one, and I thought I had it, but I didn't really have it. It was still broken, the surface had broken and all the water was coming out. So I'd pretty much given up by this point. I just took out the blue one to see what would happen anyway. And oh my gosh, look at that. It's actually staying in one piece. This is the first time that the water bottle has stayed in one piece. It looks like a mess. It just looks like a few blobs next to each other. But that was super promising. So I used more of the blue colored mixture. I don't know if it had anything to do with the blue or not, but it seemed like it worked. So I put in a few more blobs. This was like my last hurrah. I've been working on this for like almost three hours now and I was about to give up. So this time I put five drops of blue into the other bowl and I actually let them sit there for a while. I even used a spoon to gently mix them around to try and get all of the calcium solution to coat the little water bottle so that they wouldn't break. This is the moment of truth. Whoa, they look like jellyfish. Wow. Look at that. Looks like a jellyfish. I still stand by my favorite. It was so cute, it was perfect. I was really happy with this result. There should be like water in this bottle, apparently. had a fight with a water bottle. <laughs> oh look, it's even got a little stem for me to pick up. Oh yeah, that's good. Ooh. Alright, you can drink it. I don't want to. It feels like a blade. 
in the gallery for <laughs> Yuck. That's just kind of... <laughs> Please don't put that in your face. <laughs> People don't need to see that. This doesn't make me want to drink water. <laughs> and here I just pick up the last three water bottles to show you guys what they look like. And I couldn't help but play with them. They were actually really solid. I think just leaving them in the calcium bath for a really long time was the trick. It would still break if you used enough force though. So thank you guys so much for watching this with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this because I have so many more ideas for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye!